Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to root the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2012 edition. So, this thing is already nearly two years old and it's already been replaced by the 2014 edition Note 10.1. And yes, it might be discontinued already, but the development community is still big for this thing. There's a lot of custom ROMs and a lot of root apps developed for this thing and there's even Ubuntu for this thing and why not just root it so yeah so I have to warn you about this keep in mind that rooting your Note 10.1 can void your warranty and I help no responsibility if you break your device don't blame me and if you ever break your device or want to unroot it I'll show you that in a future video so and another thing is, you won't get over the art air updates if you rooted this. So yeah, so so just need to download and have a few things. What you need is your USB cable. And what you're going to do is, you're going to go to this website and download these two files. USB drivers for Windows and you need this because otherwise this won't work properly. By the way, I forgot to tell you that this is this root method is the clockwork mod recovery method which means that we're gonna install clockwork mod recovery onto this and then flashing the root files from the recovery and it's quite easy so what you're gonna do is download these two files USB drivers and the root galaxy note 10.1 zip so once you download it you could what you're gonna do is you can unzip the file and and then put it in a folder where you could remember it. So once you unzip, you end up with four four files. Two of them, which are Odin files, and another two is Highland Android's Clockwork Mod Recovery and Clockwork Mod Super User Zip. So first things first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect your No Time for One to your computer. Alright, so once the autoplay pops up, what you're going to do is just open device to view files and what you're going to do is you're going to take the Clockwork Mod Recovery Super SU and copy it to the root of storage. So once you're done that, you could disconnect it. And yeah, so what you're going to do now is you're going to go to your settings and turn on USB debugging so go to your settings developer options and turn on developer options and go to USB debugging and make sure that is turned on so once you've done that you could put your device into download mode and what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the power button and volume down so it may take a screenshot but just keep holding it and the device will eventually reboot and you see this once you see this you could let go and press volume up once you got into download mode what you're gonna do is open up Odin so click the Odin file and right click and run as administrator and this window will pop up what you're gonna do is now while in download mode take your USB cable and connect this up to the phone tab. Once connected, you see a added message with zero com something something. And if you don't see this too, it might be like your USB hub problem or it might be a problem with your USB port. Don't use USB hubs and you might have it installed the driver so make sure you install the drivers use a different usb port port is is possible so what you're going to do is make sure only auto reboot is checked and select pda and what you're going to do is select the high on android recovery file what you're going to do is click that open and press start so so once once you've done that, the device will reboot and... Alright, so... So once this is reboot, you could disconnect the USB cable. 
Now the recovery is installed, what you need to do is press power and volume up. Alright, so once you see the Samsung Galaxy Note logo Let it go. and you reboot into recovery, don't use the even this looks like even though this looks like clockwork mark touch, don't use the touch because it's very unstable. So use the volume buttons and the power button. The volume buttons are up and down and power button is for select. So what you're gonna do is install zip from SD card and Choose zip from SD card and find your clockwork mod super SU that you pasted into your phone just now. You're gonna select it. Yes, and it's now gonna install. It only takes a few seconds. So once you've once you've installed, what you're gonna do is reboot your system. So select reboot system now and. Alright, so you see Android is upgrading. Now what you're going to do is go to the Google Play Store and search for Super SU and, and update it to the latest version. So once you update it to the latest version, you could now install BusyBox. So I'll put the Super SU and BusyBox both in the links in the description. But yeah, so so inst so install the BusyBox application and once you install it, you're gonna open it. And if you see this, you're gonna select Grant Root Access and. Just, if you see this pop-up, just skip this and what you're going to do is now select install. Alright, so so now once you've installed BusyBox, just restart the device. Alright, so, so yeah, so congratulations, you've rooted your Note 10.1-2012 edition and also installed BusyBox as well. So, so if you get to this point, then you're successful. But if you bricked it, I'll post a video, a future video on how to unbrick your Note 10.1 and also a how to, also, this also applies if you want to return to stock. So, that's it for the video. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching and... Goodbye.